we found out last night that the NDP and the Liberals were meeting secretly and they've cooked up a backroom deal that would see Justin Trudeau get the majority power that he tried desperately to get last fall in the last election, but he failed to get. This deal means that Canadians have woken up to, an, in essence, an NDP Liberal majority government. And I think we have to let that sink in. This is an NDP Liberal government, and they have the majority. 82% of voters did not vote for a Liberal NDP government, in, including millions of Liberal voters. These Canadians woke up this morning to the fact that they have been hoodwinked and they've been deceived by their Prime Minister. Now let me be clear, this is nothing more than a Justin Trudeau power grab. He is desperately clinging to power. His number one goal, as we have seen over the course of the last six years, is always to do what's best for him, not to do what's best for Canadians. Now make no mistake, the NDP are in charge. What does this mean? Well, it means the decimation of Canadian oil and gas and LNG, which we now more, we know this more than ever, that means that that is really a, a way to prop up Putin and Russia. When the NDP Liberal government phase out, which means destroy Canadian oil, gas and LNG, they are helping Russia. And that was one of the top priorities they had and that Justin Trudeau has agreed to. It means mining, agriculture, fisheries are, are all next under the extreme policies of the NDP, which are now Liberal policies. It also means $214 billion, just that we know of, in new spending for Canadians. And that's who's going to be spending. That's who's going to be bearing the brunt of the new NDP Liberal government. All of which Canadians for Canadians means more debt, more inflation, more jobs lost, more uncertainty and frankly more polarization. This is not a good day for Canadians. But I cannot imagine that all Liberals are comfortable with this. There are many Liberals that are uh, you know, fiscally responsible. There are many, obviously many millions of Liberal voters, I believe, who are fiscally responsible, that support Canadian uh, natural resources, that support Canadian um, having investment grow in Canada. There are a lot of Liberals that are coming to me and saying they're very worried about the economic direction under a Justin Trudeau government. I cannot imagine this morning how they are feeling knowing that we now have a Jagmeet Singh led because he's basically going to be the Deputy Prime Minister. This is a formal written agreement. We now have a NDP Liberal government in charge. So I am fairly certain there are literally millions of Liberal voters, including some Liberal uh, members of Parliament, who have got to be very concerned this morning. I think the, the announcement we heard this morning is very clear. Uh, the, Justin Trudeau has basically said, uh, what I told Canadians I would do three, four, five months ago in the election, uh, I've changed my mind because I actually want to feel and know that I have a majority, a majority power. And so I will do basically anything the NDP asked me to do in order to keep that power. I think that that is proof enough. And, and I mean, we already have seen uh, Trudeau in his policy move further and further to the left. This is a man who wasn't joking when he said he doesn't think about monetary policy. This is a man that has was not joking when he says he admires China's ba basic dictatorship. He admires very left, very extreme uh, ways of governing and governance. And so when he has now formed a fo formal uh, agreement with the NDP government, with the NDP party, who is now the, basically the government, he has deceived Canadians. And I, I think there, there's got to be a lot of concern, not just with Canadians, but with Liberal voters themselves. Uh, what, what lengths will this man go to to cling to power? But I believe it goes to the heart of our democracy. Uh, they had, the Liberals and the NDP, had and have an obligation to be honest and transparent and tell Canadians this is what they've been cooking up. And they didn't do that. They cannot be trusted. These parties cannot be trusted. Neither of these men can be trusted to do his best for the country. So a lot of implications. We have a lot of work to do, and we're going to, we're going to get to work doing that. Thanks very much.